Hi everyone, good morning. Am I audible now? So help me share the screen, okay? Okay, so can you see the screen of I learn? So the kid also. Okay, now I can hear you as well. Okay, so what is the problem? Can't you access this? Yes, sir. I had uploaded yesterday. You cannot go inside. Also. Okay. So it was it is restricted by section A, not for B. Okay. So it is Can you check it? Can you check it? Can Okay, I'll talk um, with uh, the management and I'll. So, this is the restriction or I didn't know. Do you tell me? Yeah, we have to like uh, put more uh, these kind of assignments in the future as well, right? So, I'll, I'll, I'll fix it after the class, okay? So let's not kill this for class time. Uh, let us move back to our class. So, so welcome everyone. Good morning. Any queries regarding last class to go through the questions of slides? Anyone, any question? If not, then I'll move forward with today's session. I'm waiting, guys. So this the question is is it all silver or liquid? Okay, so weekend is coming. I request you guys to please go. Sure, sir. Just back to the the assignment is or or the or subject go. Lower or subject is my best. The whole submission garne. I think perhaps uh, all of them might go through it on today. Okay, okay. 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 Well, understood. But uh, I have been constantly saying that this time value money is really important chapter for yes. finance. If you do not understand it. If you, there is time, still time, one still one class is left. So you can ask any question from slide one to end. And I've also shared all the slides of this learning outcome too. Uh, if you don't understand this, it will be really difficult for us in the future, okay? So please go through slide one to end. Slides are really easy. You don't have to delve in other sections. You just have to go through the slides and solve questions along with calculator. Today, I hope that you guys have brought calculator along with you. Uh, the seven of you did not had uh, did not have calculator last class, so I hope that you have also brought calculator along with you. If not, then quickly, can you please quickly bring calculator? Okay, so, uh, scientific calculator I'm mentioning specifically. Okay, then uh, let me share the screen. Uh, let us move on with our class then. Okay, the, finding the interest rate. This we mentioned in the last class, right? I also demonstrated you how to find out present value, future value, number of years and rates. And um, if you don't know any one of four, then you can calculate um, accordingly. And um, you can calculate through Excel sheet. I, I demonstrated you in Excel sheet. Okay, so for present value, uh, you can you can see like if for present value, present value the function was is equal to PV. Okay, is equal to present value. Very simple. Okay. The, this is something which is really required uh, required of you after uh, during your job period. So FV for future value, 
for calculation of future value, you have to type is equal to and future value. Okay. If you do not understand, please go through last class. N per means number of period. If you don't know the value, and last is read. For to find the rate, you can type is equal to an R A T E rate. Okay. This is how you calculate through Excel. I love to show you how the finance calculator works. Slides. Okay, this is finance calculator. Okay, please, uh, is it visible? Guys, is it visible? I'm waiting for your answer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yes. So this is a finance calculator. It is. It was not in course. So I, it was not needed for me to show you this. But I humbly believe that you have to know every way possible to find answers. Okay. So that if I show you once, then you can explore yourself, isn't it? You are intelligent students. So you are in one of the top colleges of country so at least if i show you the path then it will be really easy for you to delve in at least right it will be kind of icebreaker as well so it is ba2 plus calculator okay yesterday i showed you how i demonstrated you how to calculate uh, any uh, any questions if any of the factors are given uh, present value future value number of period and rate and you can shuffle between those same thing applies if we did in excel file then we can do in this calculator as well this is called financial calculator why because there are certain functions see let me show you these these are the functions which we need apart from that there is no need for you to understand right now but later on also i'll be um, demonstrating you how other aspects of calculations are done right now can you see that n right that n means do you know what n means we have already discussed n means number of periods and it, it doesn't necessarily mean um, number of year might be equal to number of period we already mentioned that right if uh, compounding is done monthly then there is a high chance n might be 12. if compounding is done in annual basis n might be one how many times compounding is done that is called n we have already discussed so n is here after n there is iy iy is there iy means period um, that is called year as well uh, how many years or or rate rate per year okay if a uh, question gives you how much 100 how much uh, 100 will be valued at the rate of 10% after 5 years then 5 is number of times n and iy is 10% 0.1 okay PV, you know what present value is. So present value is PV. Next is PMT means payment, uh, same as Excel. Uh, payment means number of uh, payment if any inflows or outflows arises in between present value and future value. In Nepali, it is called Kista installment, or uh, it might be equal, it might be unequal. It depends. Okay. Final one is FV. FV means future value. It's really simple. It is not that difficult more so if you want to do calculations in lump sum then it is very easy so these are the buttons you use okay and another button which you constantly need is this one clear work it is called clear work to clear everything you have done that is one another button which you might need and there are three buttons like here is written second right in this button you can see it's written second two and d second now second means you might see other functions which is written in the calculator let me give you an example in number seven you can see here is written data as well okay in number eight there is written st8 state as well okay so if you want to if you want to access that function of data if you hit button seven then in a normal way, seven will be displayed in calculator. 
okay but if you want to hit data then you have to first of all click second like um, how do i demonstrate it like when you use shift in keyboard of your laptop okay if you have to hit percentage what will you do you'll hit shift and five button isn't it in your keyboard of your laptop okay likewise shift button is called this second if you want to access another function and what is another fun function you may ask me it's all written in the calculator for example in seven if you want to access data you have to first hit second it's like shift and untap it and then hit seven another example if you want to know profit then you hit three but it's not important for our uh, for our calculations right now but you have to know bits about uh, these this calculator as well and if i have to mention you there is one on and off button is here there is um, up and down button delete or in installment button ins button so there are other functions as well you can explore but these are the only buttons we need okay so you might ask so then okay i understood that these are the buttons then how can we calculate it okay so, so what's the maximum okay. uh, is calculation in this calculator some of the daily calculations i got some of them also uh, you can do any number of calculations so practically practically tomorrow you, when you land a wonderful job or when you start your venture you'll always you'll always be using either excel or a financial calculator you can do any number of calculations and even some of the calculations like um, if you want to find uh, rates okay well, for example effective rate and nominal rate i'll be explaining that later on in our slides later on later portion of our classes but if you want to learn those rates uh, there are certain estimation you have to do um, for example you'll understand that rate might be in between eight and nine percent okay but you'll not understand whether that rate might be 8.5 percent or 8.25 in that case if you do manually you have to do manually for 8.1 8.2 8.3 but if you use financial calculator or excel file sorry excel sheet then there is a high chance you'll find answer right away within two three seconds so yeah as they used to say that uh, computer is here for us to save times and it holds true but for now any question which will be given to you in the assignments any question will, which will be asked in your midterm exams these all questions will be solved it can be solved easily through your calculator okay so don't worry about that but our class is not limited to what you what you uh, it's not limited to exams isn't it it's um, i wanted you to learn these cal calculations as well so let us do this calculation here is uh, here is one example okay uh here is uh, one demonstration there is written as well using financial calculator so here you can see this one is um, n is 10 okay, sorry okay n is 10 okay let's see so n is 10 okay so what will you do okay simply put what will you do is that you simply first of all you'll type 10 okay you'll type 1 you'll type 0 okay and then you'll type n done as simple as that second we are going to find rate okay so second is present value so we have to the inputs are n in this question inputs are n present value per month installment and future value and we are told to find rates uh, sorry we are told to find yeah interest rates okay interest rate per year so to find interest rate per year we are um, inserting inputs of other four factors so let us move on the second factor is present value that is 100 so what will we do after this step after inserting n we will type 100 100 and then we will hit present value simple it's five greater <laughs> anyone can do it and uh, please uh, always make sure that you hit minus because uh, it's outflow present value is outflow you are depositing it somewhere so that you are going to get good amount of uh, future value isn't it 
So please insert uh, present value as well. Moving on, PMT is zero. Uh, payment is zero in between present value and future value. There are no any uh, payments. So PMT, PMT is zero. So what will you do? Simple. You will type zero and then you will type PMT and then you will move forward. Then future value is 150. Likewise, what will you do? You will type 150, 150 and then you will hit future value. Now at final, finally, what will you do? You will just now this is important guys now at final what will you do cpt here is one key called cpt cpt means compute okay cpt means c o m p u t e compute okay so before finding any any factors out of these five you have already put an in, in uh, inputs of other four factors right so we are going to find read so what will you do you have to do is that first of all you have to hit the button cpt cpt means compute and then hit the button iy is it clear okay so it is not complicated it's a no brainer no need to like uh, if you see once then you can understand uh, it's just um, extended version of oh, I'll, I'll say compressed version of excel okay any confusion yet guys any confusion i'm waiting for you no sir no okay so it's really simple okay so let us move on with the class now further uh, further on upcoming sessions i'll not be discussing about financial calculator okay it's really simple no need to like think about it much i hope that you will you understand understood it so moving forward today finding the number of years okay so we sometimes need to know how long it will take to accumulate a certain sum of money yesterday also i mentioned that how how many times does it take to double our money right you can see uh, in our talks uh, right in our gossips and all sometimes and also in movies as well you can see that how much time does it take to double our money everybody are looking that so if anyone asks you given that amount of one lakh rupees then what how can we make it to two lakhs rupees if invested it in bitcoin right what you can do you can just sit back find the rate of bitcoin rate of returns of bitcoin taking average of three years and then you can just calculate right and you you might say sir our calculation might not go right none the calculation in finance can go right it's like uh, finance is not about finding the right answer it's about finding about doing less wrong answers okay so estimation means there are certain estimation and the deviation must be less whenever you find any answer like your answer should be close that is our target not like you can find exactly exactly the answer okay so likewise let us also think that if we can apply this concept of finding the number of years in practical life and it will be really easy okay so uh, moving on how long will it take uh, there is a question how long will it take to acquire 1 million assuming we now have 500,000 invested at 4.5 percent did we do this uh, question in the last class no okay so here is the formula method okay so this is another question this is another, okay so inter I, 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 R, this is for financial calculator okay this is for our formula method okay and this is excel excel method yesterday i taught you right index excel okay let us do it so what is the present value present value is minus five zero equal zero okay future value future value is one million 
Okay. And what is the rate? Rate is 4.5. Okay, it's also called I. I would say 0.045. Okay. Next is number of years is what? It's given PMD is PMD payment is zero. Can you find n? Simple n per bracket rate. Okay. Per month installment is zero. And future present value is negative 500,000. And future value is positive. So our answer is 15.74. As simple as that. Okay. Now uh, you might have learned about, uh, you might have heard about NUT table as well. Okay. So there is another one new, uh, I would say, new way of finding the answer as well in these cases, especially in N, I would say. It is called NUT, oh, sorry, it's called um, time value of money tables. Uh, you can find you know, NUT table likewise as well. So if you want to find NUT table, let me show you. Okay, so this is NUT table. Okay, I hope that it's visible. It's visible, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, so this is called NUT table. It's very simple. It's just that what uh, we have we are given is that. Uh, like uh, it is finance, it's not mathematics, right? We, we are doing finance. So through this NVT table, they are trying to reduce our time of calculations. But we, what we usually do is we sit back and we start to calculate with, we start to take uh, RHS into LHS and then we are taking one value on the left and another value on the right. And then there is power as well. So this NVT table, what it does is that it multiplies interest and number of period, okay? Let me repeat, it just multiplies interest and number of period so that our calculations um, requirements are done. Uh, it's not much necessary for us to do calculations. Uh, it's just the table of calculation. You can sit back at your home and also make these tables, okay? Just that in one person, how much period? In one period one, and given that uh, interest rate is one person, then how much will be the present value factor, okay? So you can see, let me explain you first. Uh, this is present value and future value tables. Okay. Wait. So present value and future value tables. Okay. So what it gives you, first table E point one gives you future value interest factor for one dollar compounded. If one dollar is one dollar is compounded at certain interest rates, what would be its value? Okay. One dollar will be converted into certain amount. Okay, now you you have I I, I hope that you have understood the fact the fact that today's one dollar's value is always higher whenever we move in the future. Okay, so these these are future values of one dollar, and you can directly find the answer here. Let me give you an example. So, what is the if the question is what is the value of dollar one given that uh, it is compounded uh, what is the value of one dollar after one year at the rate of one person if that is the question value of one dollar after one year uh, after one year so value of one dollar after one year you can see in the period right so one dollar and one percent and this is the answer one point 0, 0, 0, 0. You can calculate through your formula as well. Our formula was future value is equal to present value back at 1 plus interest, isn't it? N to the power N. So N is 1, interest rate is 0 0.01, and then you can find likewise. So again, if asked, uh, if uh, somebody asks you a question, what is the rate of, uh, what is what would be the value of $1 after five years if the interest rate is 12%, right? So what would be the answer? See, percentage is too well. And one year is discounted for five, or compounded for five years. So the value is simply 1.7632, as simple as that. 
and what you can usually do one dollar can be converted into hundred dollars or three hundred dollars and if you know the answer of one then you can do answer of <laughs> any sum okay is it clear it's also no banner i hope that you understood it shall i move forward Guys, please respond. Yeah, sure, sir. Yes, sir, you can proceed further. OK, OK, done. So OK, let us move on. See, likewise, this is future value, right? So it was, now it is for annuity, annuity compounded, OK? So annuity is something we have not discussed. We will be discussing. Simply annuity means if, if in the question, that uh, PMT means payment, right? Between present value and future value, if there involves any other payment, let me repeat, between future value and present value, if there, occur, uh, if there is any other payments, then that is called annuity, okay? So this is table for annuity. Likewise, present value for ordinary, ordinary and future value for ordinary inputs and present value for annuity compounded and future value for annuity. The, there are four tables which I'm going to show you. So this one was, sorry, this one was future value for $1 compounded in an ordinary manner. Second, future value for $1 annuity compounded, okay? And you can see like if the question asks, what is the future value, what would be the future value of uh, $1, $1 if it is compounded at the rate of 15% um, after five years and the annuity um, and um, Meanwhile, the inflows for that uh, particular case scenario is 100 per month. So if it is asked likewise, so then you can you have to see 15%, okay? 15% for five years. So this is the factor you have to take into consideration. I hope it clears. Now, let us move on. Next is present value and future value. This is present value for $1 discounted, normal $1 present value for $1. Next is present value of annuity. Okay, it's not included here, here it is. Present value for annuity. So there are basic four tables. Let me clear. Two for future value, two for present value, one for present value normal, one for future value normal, one for present value annuity, and one for future value annuity. Okay, so you can simply scroll this table and find the answer. So, uh, I already told you whichever way you want to go to is IBS, you can go from Sina Mongol, you can go from Puranubani, so right? Okay. Okay, let us do rule um, rule call. Okay. Uh, for others, uh, please think about any queries you might have yet. I'd love to solve your, any confusions if you have. So let's start our roll call. I'm logging into the website. This is 2021. Alex? Yes, sir. OK. Arsena? OK. Asis Parajuli. 
ओके दीपेश दुलाल ओके इवन श्रेष्ठ यस सर ओके जे जुराय यस सर ओके मेरीना श्रेष्ठ ओके निंजु थापा यस सर ओके निशान श्रेष्ठ ओके निशान ओजस्वी सा यस सर ओके प्रकृति बंजारे प्रेजेंट सर ओके प्रसन्न सासिलवाल यस सर ओके प्रवीण खत्री रीतिश कुमार ओके रिवाज प्रसाद जन जी सलिना घिशिंग ओके सरिष्मा सिलवाल ओके शेखर पौड़े प्रेजेंट सर ओके स्मिथ साक्य यस सर ओके सौरभ दोगड़ा ओके उन्नीस गिरी Okay. According to the attendance, we are twenty-six of us. Okay. Full house. Great, great. Okay, so I hope that you have understood it. Understood the finding number of years. Okay, so I have shown you NUT table as well. So you can go to NUT table and calculate likewise. Um, okay, and in this uh, formula, you have to calculate log. You know, uh, do you know how to calculate through log? You might have done in optional maths or math and exam plus two. Log or I N. You can do through log, okay? Yeah, log. Log or I N. Yeah, log or I N. So here is N. True, true, true. So here is I N, okay? So this I N, yeah, I to the power N will be calculated. You just have to understand one function of log. Okay, let me show you. In the question, without demonstration, it is difficult to understand. I hope I I I know that. So future value is equal to present value to the bracket one plus, and okay, bracket one, sorry one one plus n to the power. Sorry, n one plus i i to the power n. Okay, you can see that uh, there here. Okay, so what can you do now? Future value divided by present value. Yeah. 
you can just copy this page here and present value has been already taken to left hand side so this is right hand side okay still n is the power so we can we cannot calculate it uh, we cannot calculate it in normal calculator but what we can do we can use log function okay and we can find taking log on both sides taking log on both sides okay so you can find the value of pv and mb even in that question what is the value of pv and mb 500 divided by 1 million okay 0 0.5 so, yeah. so this is log do you know what is the uh, rule of log anyone what happens to this if we apply log so base 10 ko basis ma tapai ko jun cha n power cap ko cha ni te comparison garera ani tesko wa hone yo ah ke just like the root under ko thak opposite ma yeah so you will get this right base n log i plus i 1 plus i okay point this is log 5 so you can simply now you can go through calculator you can find the value of log 5 log sorry 0 0.5 and then you can find the value of no no this is you guys did not correct me future value so is 1 million so this may w rt is equal to r look at it rt is equal to r is going to have the head hammer Oh. oh yeah this, yeah lhs is equal to rhs so this is log 2 it is not 0 0.5 future value was 1 million i was doing uh, it in a wrong way you guys did not correct me oh, no. it's more presence of mind okay so log 2 so on the left hand side this is log 2 okay so your end product of form madan sir no i think it's clear okay is it clear pratik now right lhs is equal to rhs now n you have to find n and to find n you can simply what you can do you can do log 2 divided by log 2 divided by log can someone help me out 1.045 okay so what is the answer so i question so 15.7 was perfect right the answer is 15.75 75 so this is the answer so is it difficult guys is it difficult to do this i don't think it is difficult it's very simple you just have to understand one function of log that is if there is one power okay they, here okay in this case there was power uh, n so if you apply log what what happens is that that power comes in front of log so n log that done and you can find the answer so, and value of log 2 and value of log 1.045 you can find that through scientific calculator so i hope it answers problem so i i don't think we need to spend more time in this concept let's move on annuities so uh, there are a lot of implications of annuities a lot of implications like house 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 loans and um, auto loan student loan any kind of loan which involves series of payment all emis are annuities okay so any kind of outflows which goes in periodic basis that is annuities one if you don't understand anything about annuities please understand this when payment are equal and made at fixed intervals the series is in annuity okay let me repeat if the payments are equal and they are made at fixed intervals let me give you an example if we bought um hyundai i10 okay and 70% uh, is financed by bank 
then 30% we pay off front our pocket money 30% is financed by bank right so what happens is that we have to pay equal monthly installment to the bank is it clear so that emi amount of money is they are equal when payments are equal those emi are equal every month similar amount of money goes to the bank and made at fixed interval what we do usually do every month fixed interval means we are going to pay at the end of shravan at the end of bhadra at the end of asuj okay fixed interval it might be monthly it might be quarterly it might be annually but the interval is fixed the series is in annuity okay so then that emi our emi is called annuity okay i hope it answers so there are two types of annuity one is ordinary annuity another is annuity due i have already mentioned a lot of times before we have already we are into this concept and about annuity due isn't it so i have also stated the example down down below you can find there so this is year zero this is year zero you can see this is year zero and first year there was outflow of 100 we are depositing 100 rupees minus means outflow second year again outflow of 100 third year outflow of 100 now according to the definition when the payments are equal so let me ask you are payments equal yes sir yes sir right payments payments are equal made at fixed interval okay so are we making these payments in fixed interval yes sir perfect so from as we move on from zero year to first year that counts to one year from one to two that counts again one year from two to three one year that means that our fixed intervals definition is covered equal is also covered the series is an annuity done this is an annuity now is it ordinary or annuity due now see same example i have given you timeline so you would never 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 be confused regard, regarding these two concepts i already mentioned you ordinary due uh, ordinary annuity in the case of ordinary annuity 90 to 95 percent annuities all around the world is ordinary annuity that means that let me give you an example i have already given let me reinstate the example bank gives us interest rates isn't it they give they give us interest rate at fixed interval at fixed rate right payment might be a little bit up and down because of interest rate but rate is fixed and interval is also fixed okay so that is ordinary annuity next annuity due in the case of annuity due what happens in the case of annuity due in advance like in the first uh, shravan for the month of shravan if you have to make a payment you have to do in advance in first shravan i gave you an example of rent one example of rent okay most of the house owners ask us rent in advance right likewise if we are paid or we pay someone in advance our installment in that case this is the case of annuity due now you can see the difference between ordinary and annuity due in zero year right zero year means at at zero year zero year means present we are in the zero year right in the zero year itself in the case of annuity due payment starts we have already paid 100 dollar okay in the case of annuity due but in the case of ordinary annuity we are waiting for the end of year one because we always pay at the end okay in the ordinary annu ordinary annuity in the ordinary due name is also due right so it dues in advance i hope it answers any query regarding it So and you basically can be calculated in 30 years, right? But this is the amount of okay, okay, for the first of the month, okay, in the month, my calculation got insane. Yeah. Only so sometimes when you months, my 80s, 80s, funny, so when you more times, funny, insane. And just like correction got got insane, I'm busy. Exactly, number of days per year, my cal, rack her calculation got so key about to division the custody got any concern. How they correct in finance. Is the answer like I know number of is the lump sum coil never no one can do lump sums. Okay, just a 
bank here, the interest rate kati amle provide gaur when they state outside the market they usually mention fixed interest rate around four percent five percent right but when they have to pay us they are regulated by nepal rasta bank okay nrb so they have to pay interest for every single day so if the month is of 31 then they have to pay interest rate for 31 if the month is for um, 28 right so they have to pay for 28 i already mentioned you uh, last i think in first class uh, i vividly remember that um, bank pay interest according to end of daily 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 balance okay that might be at particular period of 11 at, at 11 pm sorry yeah 11 pm or it might be average of whole day okay it depends on bank but they have to pay every day okay okay let us do question okay we'll understand the concept even better okay annuities uh so now there is a form formula for annuity ordinary annuity so this is the formula so you don't have to memorize the formula it's really simple we are just like dividing dividing the formula into the parts let us take an example in the case of in the previous case what was the outflow there was 100 right pmt means payment is 100 interest is 1.05 it's already given here is 5 right so interest is 0 1.05 and n n is 3 minus 1 n means number of period right our number of period is 3 years isn't it 3 years so when you subtract 3 minus 1 then you get 2 that means that the first annuity would go long way to 2 years so likewise you can find the answer 2 and 3 okay here you 0 here you can see 1 and you can see here 2 this is a simple formula of annuity So if you break down the formula and uh, if you like uh, find it, it's its summation, then you'll find the overall formula. PMT bracket one plus I to the power N minus one divided by I. This is overall formula, okay, of ordinary annuity. So solving this query, uh, minus 100, Okay, can you please uh, type this in ca your calculator? This one, F uh, future value N O T N. Okay, please try it. Okay, it's really important. And this one as well, PMT per month installment and one plus I to the power N minus one. Please calculate that. Moving forward, let's do one calculation. Test yourself for an for an ordinary due. Okay, so what is the question? Uh, for an ordinary annuity, I'll I'll do first one. Shall I do first one or second one? Which one do you prefer? Waiting for your answer. First one. First one, okay. For an ordinary view with the five annual installments, what was the amount? 100, okay. Uh, please, uh, you have to read word by word, okay. You can find the hint of whether the value is, what is the factor of the value. Um, for an annuity, for an ordinary annuity, it's already mentioned that it's an ordinary annuity, okay. There are two types of annuity, right? Ordinary and due, okay. So next is, uh, for an ordinary annuity with five annual payments of $100. How many payments? Five. And it's five. EMP payment is 100, okay? And 10% interest rate. Interest rate is given. That's 10%. Sorry, I. One. Interest rate. How many years will the first payment on interest? Okay. For an, for an ordinary annuity with five annual payments of 100, okay, there are five annual payments of 100, and 10% interest rate, how many years will the first payment on interest? So it's a simple question. 
like um, you can there is no need of calculation in this year so it, it just asks how many years the payment will on interest right so any answers from you answer is already reflected but you along with logic can someone answer Waiting for an answer, anyone? Why the answer is four? You can see the answer four, right? Why is it four? So mathematically calculation what they got it. It's and it is the, the base a given lesson. No, no. It's a straight answer. You don't need to like for the first one, how many like uh, for how many periods will you get interest? Like from the answer itself, you can from the question itself you can find the answer. It's just asking you how many years you will get the interest. Start. Four, right? Okay, yeah, true, true, true. Yeah, that was the answer I was looking for. True, true. Yeah, true. Okay, so let me fix this. Okay, so next question is how many period that is four years? Four years. Okay, so let me show you how. Okay, so this is the period, right? Zero, one, two, three, and four. How many period were there? Four years, right? So no, no, five. There was there were five years, five. So no, the payments were five. So payment one, two, three, four, five. What is our future value? Our PMT is 100. Okay, 100. 100, okay. 100. You, you pay 100 every installment. You, you don't pay 100 right away. Let me use it. Okay, wait. Sorry, we pay this interest at the end, right? 100. Let me change the color. 100, 100, 100, 100, and 100. Okay, this is P, the, these are PMTs. Another question was what was the interest rate? 0 0.10. Okay, 0 0.10. This is the period 1 to 0 0.10. Okay, 10%. So next is um, what is the future value is the question, right? Always, uh, I recommend you guys to please um, always make timeline likewise, and then you can solve the question really easily. Okay. So for future value, the formula is future value, right? We already discussed in the last class. Present rate is zero point one. Number of period is five. Okay, and 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 PMD is four, present value is zero. We'll do future value, it is zero point one. What, do, what do, 
will this payments value be at the end answer the same for the fifth installment okay let me let me take you through another question I'll come back to this question after a while, okay? I think there might be some problem with it. Let's move on. Uh, uh, future value of annuity due. We'll uh, do both the questions together of annuity and annuity due, okay? So future value of an annuity due. Uh, for the future value of annuity due, each payment occurs at the end. All the payments each year for one additional period. So uh, you might have understood it like for annuity due, what happens is that Okay, so this is the period. These are the periods, sorry, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now what happens is that for annuity due, for annuity due, we pay interest right away from here, okay? We pay interest from here. So our interest is already, uh, we, we our interest is already due from here, okay? So, one more period is covered in annuity, annuity due. But if it was ordinary annuity, then what would happen? In the case of ordinary annuity, would you start interest from here, right? From For the period of first year, and then for the period of second year, for the period of third year, for the period of fourth year. But for annuity due, we have already started generating interest from zero. Now you can assume what might be the difference between annuity and annuity due. First, we'll pay second installment here, third installment here, and fourth installment here. Now, you can find that interest will be different in terms of compounding. The interest which is generated of year, year zero, interest will, which will be gen, uh, generated for year one, they will, they will be charged interest one of one more period, okay? So this period usually, where in terms of ordinary annuity, this was not available okay now this interest will be available to us right because our future value we usually find future value here right we are in present value here so if question asks that what would be the future value uh, at the end of year four okay for this period also we'll move on to one two three four period for this second uh second payment we'll move on to one two three periods Okay, but for the for the in the in the in the case of ordinary annuity, what happens is that from here we start, right? So what is the period for the first interest payment? One, two, three periods, right? So for the case of annuity due, it might be clear to you that there is always one interest cycle more than ordinary annuity. So now we get our formula of annuity due. Is it clear? See, we have just added one interest period, isn't it? Because we have received um, interest in at, at, the, at the starting, at the advance, at the first period. Okay, so is it clear? Any questions waiting? I'm waiting for you guys. Okay. Any questions yet? No, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, for the given above example, now you see, for the above example, there was NUT of 315, right? There was a future value of energy we found likewise. So the answer was 315.25. So you move down, then you just add 315 and one, one, one interest period, 1.05. That is simply, uh, simply put, okay.
simply put in please understand it is kind of confusing you know as you will move forward so for NUT due please understand that NUT due starts from here so one two three four period and another NUT that is ordinary NUT starts from here here one two three so this period is more right so that is called one plus i so what do we, we do we usually do we add ordinary annuity with one right so simply we have done here you can find here okay so we simply add 315 with 1.05 we get the answer 331.01 annuity do always have a higher value than in ordinary annuity never the case we will have lower value of annuity due than ordinary annuity because it has gone through one more period okay now present value of an ordinary annuity uh, similar way of calculating present value uh, the way we have calculated like uh, for year one right for year one we go back we discount now that was compounding now we will start to discount we have already done present value concept so every dollars which we invest or dollar or any inflows which we get are discounted with certain interest rate right so meanwhile in that process we can do through this step by step method like discount 100 by 5% for one year discount one minus this uh, sorry this 100 by two years or discount this 100 by three years you can do simply by step by step method or you can compute formula as well we also we have already found this formula right last time we discussed in our present value class when we divide one plus i by one then we get uh, present value okay so in the case of uh, nvt we replace future value by pmt okay per month installment because in case of annuity we get constant payments in between right so this is the formula you uh, you can compute likewise and you can also try this uh, i request everyone to please try this at uh, with your calculator and you will find the answer dollar 252.32 okay so i don't think there is any confusion in uh, ordinary annuity any confusion we'll be doing questions about these all concepts as well so you can apply these formula as well okay okay moving down this is your homework please do these questions okay so next is finding uh, annuity payments periods and interest rates out of any variable n i p m t f b and p b we can know any four and find fifth okay and uh, we have discussed about it we have also calculated through excel last time and we can do through formula as well i have taught you uh, all the all of its kinds okay okay so the p v a factor which i showed you earlier there is PBA factor, right? This PBA factor is the table which I showed you earlier. PBA factor. So let us do an, uh, this example as well. Jeremy borrows uh, $4,461 at an interest rate of 8% per year, compounded semi annually on each July 1st and January 1. He plans to make a 600 loan payment at the end of each semi annual period. Assuming that the present time is January 1st, 2021, and the first loan payment will take place on July 1st, 2021. So how can we calculate this question? Let us start with timeline. Timeline is already given there. So you can find present value of annuity. What is the present value? Present value is 4461 given in the question. Second interest rate of 8% per year, okay? So every year we, we calculate through 8% interest every year. Okay. Next is compounded semi-annually. Compounded semi-annually means now the period of application of rate is six months. Okay. The first period is six months, second is six months. Likewise, we see you can see the figure six months, right? So the period is six months, and we are paying. $600. He plans to make a $600 loan payment. These are outflows. These are 
per month, um, per six month, per semi annual installments, which we are paying back, right? These are equal investments. These are done every six months. Payment is fixed, period is fixed. So this is annuity question. At the end of each semi annual period, assuming that the present time is January 1st, 2021, our present period is January 1st, 2021. So we write here 2021. We add six months to January 1st, 2021. We find dates after that. Okay. Payment will take place now. And the first loan payment will take place on July 1. Now, did you understand? Uh, this is a question of ordinary annuity or annuity due. Anyone? So due. How it is of annuity due? How? What made you think that it is of annuity due? Any specifics on the question? So in of the in of each uh, semi annual one as well. Semi annual is to tell you the annuity due or ordinary due. Okay, you might have confused between January and July. Okay, it's written first July. Okay, so the questions are tricky, you know, uh, in questions exams also, nobody will give you like uh, simple questions. In practical life, also, questions are a little bit difficult. It has written in the question the first loan payment, the first payment now that first payment differentiates us whether annuity is due or annuity is ordinary isn't it so the first loan payment will place uh, will take place on july 1st 2021 our our time started our present value of annuity is given on given at 1st january 2021 right and payment starts at july 1st after six months now what does it indicate ordinary or annuity due I'm waiting for the answer. Pratik, anyone else? Help me out, students. But please understand this concept. It's really, really, really important. Yes. So, oh, that's go July first one, I said that end of four. Can install me the summa gani one, I said that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, the first payment or first installment is uh, first installment is done after the end of the period, right? Or after the first installment. That means on July. At, sorry, at July 1st, okay? So it is an ordinary annuity. If question has, uh, if question had told us that the first payment starts from 1st January, then it would be annuity due, okay? Please don't get confused uh, regarding annuity due and a normal one, okay? So this is a uh, present value of annuity 4461. Now you see, I showed you, uh, I showed you PVA factor, okay? I showed you table uh, last time. Uh, at the start of this class so pmt per month installment is 600 so here we have to find pba factor of annuity okay our interest rate is what is the percentage eight percentage okay and period is six months and um, no, no total period is okay we are finding pba factor here okay so we have given PMT, we have been given PVA. Now question ask, asks us, uh, our future value is zero. When will the balance is zero, okay? Our future value is also given as, as zero. So assuming that the present time is January 1 and the first loan payment will take place on uh, January 1st. When will the balance be zero? It is asking us, what is, how, when is the time or N? It is asking us um, number of period, okay? and it's been being asked so we are trying to find pva factor because in the pva factor there are rates and n so if we divide pva by pmt 
then we get 7.435 okay so pba factor is 7.435 so what we will do is that we will browse that table which i showed you later um, earlier 7.435 we will go to the table annuity table okay so future value of annuity it is not the future value question okay future value of one year one dollar annuity right okay present value is given so future value interest factors so these this here we must find the answer okay so our interest rate is 8% right and um, at 8% we will search for this value 7.435 7.435 so at the interest rate of what is the rate rate of 8 percent okay so here we will search for 7.435 7.3359 okay now uh, future value of interest factor for one dollar compounded this is NAT. I think uh, this uh, there might be problem with this annuity table but where you must look is that uh, you must go to this annuity table and future value annuity go to period and then find question a, okay here is written 7.435 we have to search that in the table but There must be i think this uh, table might have problem but where you can look is that you can go to the future value annuity table and when you see in the period of eight percent and you will search here you will search here okay and while you go through vertical lines then you will find the answer and the answer must be here but this table is there is problem with this table i'll, I'll find the appropriate table and i'll share with you okay Hold on. You must know how to do it okay so rather than yeah, i'll show you in another class this one as well 7.435 source this in the table and as you'll find that value there then you'll know what is the period so then you will find nine on the sides okay on on the uh, left hand side then as you'll find the nine and that is our semi-annual period you can divide that and you can find the answer okay as we solve for the time we can solve it for the interest now same wise as present value factor this pba factor is composition of time and rate right so if we can find time then we can find the rate as well is it clear i've also given note that pb uh, present value future value and pb annuity due is different Okay, so let us solve one or two questions. Any confusion yet? Anyone? Sorry for technical glitches, guys. Okay. Okay. 
Absolut. Okay, we'll solve question as well. I'll fix that issue. Something is happening. On the last class, we'll discuss. We'll do only questions, okay? Before that, let's end the theories part. Now, um, the last concept I would say uh, for us is uh, perpetuities. Apart from that, other all are adjustment uh, to the classes. So any confusion, shall we move ahead? Sorry for the technical glitches that issue with Excel file and also the issue with annuity table. I'll be solve, I'll be sharing both both of those in upcoming session. Okay. So shall I move forward with perpetuity or what shall I? Today, everyone is so silent. So, it's already born Muslim, okay? Okay. So, perpetuity, one, I had given you example as well, Oscar awards, Nobel Peace Prize, these uh, pay, these installments are usually done. Uh, that concept is called perpetuity. If you don't know the time period, okay, uh, then it is called perpetuity. Like a perpetuity is simply an annuity with extended life, right? It has extended period of time. Because the payments goes on forever, the payment will go till uh, perpetuity. Let us take an example. You buy preferred stock in a company that pays you a fixed dividend of $2.50 each year. Discount rate on the preferred stock is 10%. You are going to get a 10% okay, rate for perpetuity because it has not given in the question that you are going to like sell the stocks or you are not transferring the stock to someone else there is nothing mentioned in the question right so it is a question of perpetuity because uh, question has directly stated what is the present value of perpetuity but there are certain cases where time period is not given so you have to understand this is the uh, question of perpetuity like if the payment continues forever these kind of terms or if the question mentions that uh, what will be the value after after the period or uh, if the period is not specified right so that kind of questions is are of perpetuities okay so simply put pmt means a payment more which uh, the periodic payment which you do pmt divide by interest rate then you find present value of perpetuity okay we usually find present value of perpetuity because it continues we cannot find future value at certain period of time so what we usually do is we try we have we want to find that what is the value of this particular um, particular perpetuity for today so that we can take correct decisions okay so any confusion on perpetuity it is very simple concept now i think you might have good grasp of concept okay uneven cash flows now um regarding uneven cash flows the definition of uh, uneven cash flows means uh, for one period you get a cash flow of for example 100 for another period you get an example of uh, sorry you get a cash flow of 200. Uh, let me give you an example okay so let us draw one timeline of four years three two one zero so if you pay one hundred dollars here pay two hundred dollars at the end of two second year and three hundred at the end of third year and at the four hundred at the end of four, fourth year so it is called uneven cash flows cash outflows or inflows it doesn't matter but what matters is that cash flows are uneven they are hundred there are two hundred so this is not the case of annuity, isn't it? Because cash flows are different. So what shall we do? Now you see, the problem with it is that we cannot solve it by formula. It is really difficult for us to solve. Do you understand why? There are a lot of payments, right? A lot of different payments. So the only way to calculate these um, cash flows for these uneven payment is that we have to discount it individually. There is no any other way. We have to discount it individually like you have to bring 200 you have to bring 300 then you have to discount 400 you cannot find direct formula to do that okay
okay so this is all you need to know if, if the question has given there is uneven cash flow then you just have to do it solve the question individually individual to those on uneven cash flows but there are certain questions where there are uh, annuities and there is one final payment maximum time like you pay interest and at the end you uh, you get some payment or uh, there are inflows or dividends in the company right every single month uh, and at the sorry every single year and at the end maybe after 10 years or 15 years um, you might get a lump sum of bond it is an example of bond when bond matures or debenture matures these are the examples of class a class a uh, class a of these uneven cash flows there are two types of classes one is class a, class, class a and class b the example which i showed this is a class b it doesn't have any sequence all the payments are uneven and there is no any sequence but in class a if there there is uh, if there is annuity let me give you an example if this was hundred dollar okay this was also hundred dollar and this was also hundred dollar this was also sorry and at the end this is annuity right equal in first year period is equal payment amount is equal so this is annuity but question also mentions that at the end you will uh, the person is paid 400 okay so now annuity plus 400 this is the class a kind of uneven cash flows okay now the classic example is dividend investment in capital uh, equipment and this concept you can uh, carry down further in further chapters as well so example of uh, class a is bonds i already gave you an example example of class b is stocks you never know how much dividend you are going to receive isn't it let us give you an example let me give you an example um nobel bank gave a dividend of around 30 uh, 35 percent shares dividend right um, let us assume it gave one percent of cash dividend so that dividend was never equal to whatever it gave previous year isn't it and in the case of stocks you never get one lump sum amount right from the company you just get dividend from the company isn't it so it continues for the certain period of time right so these are uneven cash flows stock capital investment right so these are uneven cash flows any confusion in this uneven cash flows calculation is same you know we have already studied so you have to do individual calculation if you have to find present value uh, place one formula for present value here, another for here, another for here, and another for here. But if it is a case of annuity, calculate annuity, okay? Calculate uh, present value or future value of annuity and just add it with one calculation, right? Simple. If there is sequence, uh, if there is sequence, then just calculate uh, formula for annuity and add one on even cash flow. But if there are no any sequences, then you just have to pick each cash flow and find the answer okay so here is an example uh, you can see in the figure okay so this one is first uh, cash flow so these are all on on even do you see that right uh, on these are on even cash flows isn't it so you have to find present value of each stream okay individually there is no any other way so that is the hard way okay so if these all annuities or these all payments would be same for example this hundred was also same that what you could have done is that you for these all payments for payments uh, one two three four for four payments you could have calculated annuity and for five you could have done uh, individually you could get 283.71 dollar for present value of fifth on even cash flow and for those other even annuities, one, two, three, four, if uh, that was the case of three hundred dollars on each in the each year, then you could apply present value of annuity. So you add present value of annuity with present value of uneven cash flow. So is it clear? So theoretically, uh, please be clear about the concept. Calculation will do. Uh, calculation of each concepts will do on the next class okay and also please try to do these homeworks as well now i think you can do any problem of annuities 
there must not be any kind of issue. I, I showed you how to solve it through Excel from, uh, I also demonstrated you how to solve it through financial calculator. You know how to do it through uh, normal calculations as well. So there must not be issue. Okay, now this is the same case future value, uh, like you have to compound, like you discounted it, okay? Now again, solving, you can go through these slides and you can find the answer. Solving for I, same, same way to do it. I uh, Semi-annual and other compounding periods. We already mentioned that there are two calculations which you do. Whenever there is a semi-annual period, rate is divide. We divide the rates, right? Here we have written. We divide the rate by uh, two if it is semi-annual, by four if it is quarter, by 365 it is daily, and by one if it is annual. We divide the rate because our period of compounding is different. So our period of compounding is not year. N is not is equal to year. N is different in case of semi-annual, right? N into two. We have to multiply by two because we compound twice, right? That is the period of compounding. So likewise, when we are going to get that interest in at, at semi-annual period, then we get interest rate divided by two, right? Because interest rate is usually in annual form. So you can see the examples. It's really simple. We have already discussed about it in the class. And please do these homeworks. All the questions since weekend is here. OK, so about this, we'll discuss comparing interest rate in next class. OK, I have already exceeded time. So any final words? Any queries, any, any suggestions? I'm waiting for you to answer. Anyone? No, sir. Okay. No, sir. Okay, guys. Uh, sorry for. Okay, sorry for technical glitches. Some of the things I want to fix next class is that one number one. I will bring um, uh, annuity table. Okay, which is correct one. I, I don't know from where I got that. I'll uh, bring that from proper source. Second one is that uh, you will see less technical glitches. Okay, and uh, third, thank you for listening. And I. I wish, uh, I, I hope that weekend is near. So everyone, please do homeworks. I have, for your convenience, I have inculcated all the questions in the slide itself. Please go through it. And if you have any confusion, let me know. And the final class, in the upcoming class, we will disc we'll be solving questions, okay? Regarding most of the concepts which we have discussed. So apart from that, please do your assignment. Deadline is Monday. Okay, I'll not extend any period because for a ratio analysis, it just takes around two, three, three, four hours at most if you diligently do it. Okay, so I hope to see your assignment by 14th and I'll solve that issue of um, issue which uh, issue that you cannot access that uh, assignment. Okay, as soon as uh, today itself within one or two hours. So, Sorry. yes, Orsana. Uh, without opening it, we no. can't know the question, right? So we can't see the yeah, question. Yeah, I'll fix it. Mm, okay. Uh, also, I'll fix it uh, today itself within two, three hours. Okay. Yeah. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you so much. Sorry for the glitches. Have a nice weekend. Bye bye. Have a nice day, sir.
गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास गुड मॉर्निंग मैम ओके लेट्स वेट फॉर अ कपल ऑफ मिनट्स मोर विद अदर साइन टू एंड वी विल बिगिन विद आवर क्लास ओके मैम
Let's begin with attendance, please. Alex. Alex. Arjana. Present, ma'am. Asis. Yes, ma'am. Dipes. Yes, ma'am. Even. Yes, ma'am. Jeju. Jeju. Jeju is absent. Um, Marina. Okay, present. Ninju. Yes, ma'am. Nisan. Okay, present. Ojasvi. Ojasvi. Prakriti. Present, ma'am. Prasamsa. Okay, present. Praveen. Present, ma'am. Raman. Raman present. Ratna Prava. Present, ma'am. Revisan. Present, ma'am. Ritis. Okay, present. Reverse. Yes, ma'am. Ronim. Yes, ma'am. Saksham. Yes, ma'am. Salina. Present, ma'am. Sarisma. Yes, ma'am. Sekhar. Sekhar, Smith, yes, ma'am, Smith present. Okay, so Rup present, Eunice present. Okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm also present. Oh, just oh, we present. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, to ma'am, second okay. one present. Sorry, ma'am, to reconnecting. That is, I'm very glad to connect with you. Second, okay. Second part. And Prasamsa absent, is he? Oh, pre Prasamsa, sorry. Prasamsa. Okay, present. Jeju. Okay, thank you, everyone. Mm, Shaker also joined. Thank you. Now let me share slides.
so last class ma we have already done about um inventory management good techniques or custody on how we do right now we've learned about various terms that we use while uh doing the inventory management and uh, different levels are ram the starting or at them the reorder level the minimum stock level maximum stock level every stock level and the safety stock what you can do danger stock what the public money the that stock becomes our danger level or the uh calco uh terms are we have learned and done the respective calculations funny and now we'll have to move to another concept of accounting for labor i know before moving that is the concept of this which we will be doing in a couple of slides and then we'll be starting with entirely new session for today which is accounting for labor labor accounting so i'm the cost of some money that we will do inventory control the main objective of inventory control is to achieve maximum efficiency in production and sales with the minimum investment in inventory 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 by minimum invest स्टक पाइल अप नगरी कर कंपनी को अपरेशन भी स्मूथ हो मैक्सिमाइज होटरी कंट्रोल इन्वेन्ट्री कंट्रोल करना वी अप्लाई टू काइंड अफ टेक्निक्स है टू बीन सीस्टम हो अर्को एबीसी एनालाइसि हो टू um techniques applied for inventory control which are two bin system and avis analysis a two bin system avis analysis one a queue that we will do two bin system under the system each bin is divided into two parts smaller and larger small parts should stock the quantity equal to the minimum stock or even the reordering level and larger part of the stock larger part the stock the remaining quantity issues are made out of the larger part but as soon as it becomes necessary to use The quantity out of the bin, fresh order is placed. Hey, eh? two bin system one. Check here one. Here we uh, have two different kinds of bin. Or a two bit larger bin, or a smaller bin, or or a two uh, compartments. Or a bigger compartment, or a sand compartment. Hey, na sand compartment. Match we uh, that put. Then the reorder level co quantity. Four thousand units. I'm reorder level over. Hey, four thousand units. Then store over some. And back here, back here. Inventory. Hey, or put. bigger section of the bin my store garsum haina ani ani hamle use chai kaam bata garna shuru garsum bigger part use garna shuru garsum haina ani bigger bin ko quantity sakye ra small bin ko quantity use garni bela hai bhane we should hamle chai ki signal pauchhum bhanda hai hamle sano bin ko quantity use garira cham bhanche we have this the reorder level so obviously naya order purchase purchase order garnu parcha bhane ra we go into that haina so तो बिन सिस्टम ने के इन्वेन्ट्री इफेक्टिवली मैनेज करना हेल्प कर ठूल बिन को क्वांटिटी सकने बितीक विल हेव टू यूज सानो बिन को र मेटेरियल सानो बिन को र मेटेरियल यूज करना थाल्व वी हेव रिच द रिओर्डर लेवल सो वी सुड बिगिन विथ पर्चेस रिक्विजिशन पर्चेस अर्डर करते हमें इन्वेन्ट्री मगन लग्न पर्स हाई सो दिस इज वन अफ द वेज अफ कंट्रोलिंग इन्वेन्ट्री टू बिन सीस्टम और को अर्क एबीसी एनालाइसि है इन्वेन्ट्री लाइक कैटेगोराइज करने एबीसी में अबीसी कैटेगोरी में भाग इन्वेन्ट्रीज डिफ्रेंट स्ट्रैटेजी डिफ्रेंट टेक्निक्स लगाए प्रपरली फैक्ट्री में राख्ने एंड देन तेल यूज करने हाई सो एबीसी एनालाइसि में इन्वेन्ट्री क्लासिफाइड इंटू थ्री कैटेगोरीज ए कैटेगोरी बी कैटेगोरी एंड सी कैटेगोरी ए कैटेगोरी में कंसिस्ट अफ ओनली टेन पर्सेंट अफ इन्वेन्ट्रीज हेन्डल बाय द स्टोर बट आर अफ About 70% of inventory value. A category match. Like that, you very value hold. Got me. Now suppose you computer one of the company who one is microchip processor. Any then you like that. No, that like that high value co inventories. And then into product raw material. And so that is a category match for. So now they don't take much of the space. So now the 70, 10% of the inventories. And so the 10% of the volume, but they have. 70% of the value that one of economic value monetary value monetary value at the point 70% on side this to category ko inventory like we keep that in 
ए कैटेगरी बी कैटेगरी में चाहिँ ठिकको हो ए कन्सिस्ट अफ अबाउट 20% अफ द टोटल आइटम्स ह्यान्डल बाइ द स्टोर इन अबाउट 20% अफ द इन्भेंटरी भ्यालु सो बी कैटेगरी में चाहिँ त्यस्तो आइटम्सहरु हुन्छ हैन जुन चाहिँ 20% अफ भ्यालु इन्भेंटरी आइटम्स हुन्छ एन्ड देन 20% नै के हुन्छ त्यसको भ्यालु हुन्छ um c category match consists of about 70% of the total items handled by the store but are only up 10% of the inventory value so we say computer example got the cupboard haru bhayo haina baire ko jun exterior huncha um steel ko or jun tyo baire ko tyo monitor like cover baire ko area huncha tyo sabai dherai volume ma huncha but isko value kam huncha haina so consists of about 70% of the total items handled by the store but only are of only 10% of the inventory value hai dheri space cover garni tara thori value huni inventory chai category c ma parcha category c ma dherai nai damage dherai mishandling damage bha pani thori amount ko matra loss huncha tara a category ko saman haru le properly hamle store garina telai properly rakhena pani alikati damage hudai garda kheri pani dherai monetary loss huncha so it's very necessary to classify um the inventory into various categories ani are category ko lagi different kind of strategies use garna sakinchha ab kasari kun condition ma telai rakhne ho haina that kind of decisions can be made a category of items can be controlled effectively by applying regular system which ensures neither stocking or shortage of materials control mechanisms are also different for category b and category c category a lai pani properly manage effectively store gari rakhnu parcha ani a category ko saman ko value dheri huni bhako bhayo dheri ek chotti store garnu chai it's risky haina euta chai dheri saman tesko stock dheri le raun da hari we will incur एकदम धे इन्वेस्टमेंट है इन्वेस्टमेंट यूज ना स्टक भर बस अपर्चुनिटी कस्ट मिस गई रख यो हाई भैल्यू को यो रमेटेस स्टोर करना एक्सपेन्सेस इनकर भैर हो थर्ड कुछ ये हाई भैल्यू अफ इन्वेन्ट्री कंपनी भर राख्ता खेल सिक्युरिटी रिजल्ट थ्रेट होना थेप्स को अभी चोरी डकैती होने चांसेस so abc analysis karta khedi we try to uh, categorize inventories into uh, different um, categories depending upon their um, the value and the um, quantity they hold you know the area they cover abc garira ani yo tin tin category ko lagi we to take the different strategies right so this this is all यो इन्भेन्ट्री को पार्ट को लगी इन्भेन्ट्री मैनेजमेंट सीस्टम कंट्रोल को इन्भेन्ट्री कंट्रोल में कि दुईटा सीस्टम था टुबिन सीस्टम एंड एबीसी एनालाइसिस इसी वी डू द इन्भेन्ट्री कंट्रोल हाई अर्क अकाउंटिंग फर लेबर हाई अब लेबर को अकाउंटिंग कमपोर्टेंट भादा दिस इज अमाउंट पे टू द मैन पावर हु डिरेक्टली एंड डाइरेक्टली इन्वल्व इन द मेनुफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस अफ एन अर्गनाइजेशन अब लेबर भाई के हो तो भादा खेल दीपल द वर्कर्स द इम्प्लइज दैट वर्क इन साइड इन अर्गनाइजेशन है दे ट्राई टू कन्वर्ट दैट र मेटेरियल इन टू द फिनीस गुड्स है सब प्रोसेस में इन्वल्व होने जी इम्प्लइज वर्कर्स जी ह्यूमन रिशोर्स दे आर अल लेबर है लेबर कस्ट इज क्लासिफाइड इज डाइरेक्ट एंड इनडाइरेक्ट लेबर कस्ट के डाइरेक्ट एंड इनडाइरेक्ट दुबई होता हाई डाइरेक्ट भाई दे आर दोज ह्यूमन रिशोर्स हु आर डाइरेक्टली इन्वल्व इन प्रोडक्शन प्रोसेस है डाइरेक्टली नहीं इन्वल्व से प्रोडक्शन प्रोसेस में जो लेबर डाइरेक्ट कस्ट भाइरेक्ट लेबर कस्ट है जो फैक्ट्री में इन्वल्व पैकिंग में इन्वल्व जो सामान प्रोसेस करना में इन्वल्व छो कि डाइरेक्ट भ इनडाइरेक्ट बनेपार्ट फ्रम प्रडक्शन डिपर्टमेंट भी प्रडक्शन डिपर्टमेंट भी सिक्युरिटी पर्सनल होना सब अब अरु एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन को पर्सन हो सब एंड देन प्रडक्शन डिपर्टमेंट बाहर सेल्स डिपर्टमेंट को मैं एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन डिपर्टमेंट को मैं होगा मार्केटिंग को होगा डिस्ट्रिब्यूशन को होगा अस्त मीडिया अस पच्चीस आरएनडी धेरे डिपर्टमेंट को पीपल माइ बी इंगेज है सब दोज लेबर दोज ह्यूमन रिशोर्स हु आर नट डाइरेक्टली इन्वल्व इन प्रडक्शन प्रोसेस आर कल्ड इनडाइरेक्ट लेबर है अभी लेबर कस्ट इज वन अफ द मेजर कस्ट इन मेनुफैक्चरिंग एंड सर्विस इंडस्ट्रीज अफ कोर्स है अब यह मेनुफैक्चरिंग बेस्ड इंडस्ट्रीज और सर्विस बेस्ड इंडस्ट्रीज में 
लेबर कस्ट हो वन अफ द मेजर कस्ट है स्पेशल तीन टाइम कस्ट एसोसिएटेड हो मटेरियल लेबर इन ओवरेड अभी मेनुफैक्चरिंग सर्विस इंडस्ट्रीज में पेज में मटेरियल जत्तीक इंपोर्टेंट लेबर भी होर इज नीड टू एक्सरसाइज मैक्सिम केयर टू मिनीमाइज दिस कस्ट मिनीमाइजिंग कस्ट डजन मीन रिड्यूसिंग कस्ट बट मीन्स गेटिंग अप्टिमल एंड इफिशियंट प्रोडक्टिविटी फ्रम द एम्प्लाइज न इसको मिनींग के हो भादा खेल लेबर भाया अरु कस्ट जो है मटेरियल मशीन जो है लेबर इज ह्यूमन बिइंग है ह्यूमन बिइंग संगसंगे के ह्यूमन इमोसन्स हो ह्यूमन कंसाइंस होनी ह्यूमन बिइंग वर्क प्रडक्ट मोर प्रडक्टिव वेन दे आर हाईली मोटिवेटेड है ह्यूमन बिइंग हार्ड एंड फास्ट रूल लगाए वी कैन नट गेट हाई लेवल अफ आउटपुट फ्रम दैन है सो इसमें अलग ट्रिक के होने वी वुड बी रादर रेडी टू इंक्रीज द लेबर कस्ट है लेबर कस्ट बढ़ाएं उन्नीर को इफिशियसी प्रडक्टिविटी इन्हांस कर सको वी कैन गेट द क्वालिटी आउटपुट्स वी कैन गेट ह्यूज नंबर अफ आउटपुट एट ए सर्ट पीरियड अफ टाइम जल्द हम ओवरअल कस्ट अफ प्रडक्शन लेस होना जो पर यूनिट प्रडक्शन लेस होना जान सो अनलाइक मटेरियल एंड अदर ओवर रेड कस्टिंग इसमें हार्ड एंड फास्ट रूल लगाए जबरदस्ती भो लेबर पेमेंट को कस्ट घटा पर्स भाई होते हैं We would also be ready, you know, even ready to increase the labor cost. And labor cost increase would they got that? Here, it's because that our productivity enhance many chances also because labor, one as it's human being, you know, it's very necessary for them to keep motivated so that they work for the organization by taking the responsibility and full ownership. So uh, while doing accounting for labor, we just we not just our objective is not just trying to cut. the labor cost i know i'm the objective point is ki unu parcha ta bhanda hai the efficiency and productivity of employees like enhance karne se i'm the strategy unu parcha hai so importance of labor cost ke ke cha bhanda ki di correct determination of product cost labor cost constitutes a major part of the cost of products or services लेबर कस्ट के कुछ प्रडक्ट को मेजर कस्ट हो हमें मटेरियल कस्ट लेबर कस्ट ओवर रेड कस्ट कर वी ट्राई टू क्याकुलेट द कस्ट अफ प्रडक्शन अभी कस्ट अफ प्रडक्शन निकालने को लगी लेबर को इलिमेंट मिशिंग भैट डज गिव अ गुड पिक्चर हई तो भर प्रडक्शन कस्ट में प्रडक्शन कस्ट करेक्टली डिटर्मिन कर लेबर कस्ट इज वेरी इंपोर्टेंट कस्ट कंट्रोल बाई कंप्युरिंग एक्चुअल कस्ट विथ बजेट एंड स्टैंडर्ड कस्ट अफ द लेबर हम स्टैंडर्ड कम बजेट में क्या अलोकेट करने भाई थी अभी एक्चुअल में हमें कति गए है सो तो कंपेयर कर इट हेल्प्स टू कंट्रोल द कस्ट प्लांग एंड डिशीजन मेकिंग है इट अल्सो हेल्प इन प्लांग एंड डिशीजन मेकिंग अब अनस्किल्ड इम्प्लइज को स्ट्रैटेजीज लिने स्किल्ड इम्प्लइज को स्ट्रैटेजीज लिने सब प्लांग डिशीजन मेकिंग करने काम से लेबर कस्ट हेल्प कर बेस फर अपर्चुनिटी ओवर रेज ओवर रेज लाई डिफ्रेंट डिपर्टमेंट में कुछ डिपर्टमेंट में कति मशीन यूज भो कुछ डिपर्टमेंट में कति एक्सपेन्डिचर बुक करने तो अपर्चुनमेंट करना को लेबर कस्ट ले हेल्प कर सीस्टम अफ वेजेस पेमेंट हाई वेजेस पेमेंट हम लेबर लेमेंट करने पेमेंट लेबर लाइव पेमेंट कर सब वेज ज्याला भाई नेपाली में हाई अभी तो लेबर ले पे करने अमाउंट हम के वेजेस भाई एंड देर आर टू काइंड्स अफ सीस्टम अफ वेजेस पेमेंट फर्स्ट भाया पीस वेज सीस्टम हो एंड सैकेंड भाया टाइम वेज सीस्टम हो हई अभी पीस वेज सीस्टम राइम वेज सीस्टम दुट डिफ्रेंट काइंड्स अफ सीस्टम छीस वेज सीस्टम नाम ले पीस वेज सीस्टम भाई है सो दिस दिस काइंड अफ सीस्टम हेल्थ तो इसलिए के भादा खेल इम्प्लॉय लकोर्डिंग टू द लेवल अफ प्रडक्शन है उन्नी कडक्शन कर सको उ कति आउटपुट निल्यो तो बेसिस में पे कर पीस को बेसिस में है कति कति आउटपुट आयो अ हाउ कति आउटपुट तिमें प्रड्यूस गए कंपनी भि है कुछ इम्प्लय कर्यो एल बीस यूनिट गए बीस यूनिट को हिसाब से बी बी फिफ्टी यूनिट प्रड्यूस गए फिफ्टी यूनिट को हिसाब से तेरी से पीस वाइज सीस्टम डिटर्मिन होता है एंड टाइम वाइज सीस्टम इज अकोर्डिंग टू द टाइम है कति टाइम स्पेन्ड गए कंपनी में तो हिसाब से टाइम वाइज सीस्टम भी क्याकुलेट होनी पीस वाइज सीस्टम में अंडर दिस सीस्टम वर्कर्स आर पेड अन द बेसिस अफ द आउटपुट प्रड्यूस्ड 
hold on for a minute i am having a phone call it's very important call so i, I don't you miss okay. calling me then i'll just be right back hello So peace wave system, my. Uh, sorry for the disturbance. Ani, I think today's class is only only leave one person since our college action urgently you oxygen plant install one of like since this cannot be done. So we are working on COVID response. Okay. Uh, so let's do peace wave system, my. Under the system, workers are paid on the basis of the output produced. The system doesn't consider does not consider the time spent by the workers. It is also known as payment by result or output. The total wages earned by a worker is calculated by using the following formula. A basic system match a worker look at the units of output produced quality basis match a will payment pounds. So, any um just uh what the time spent for you factory with it that's irrelevant. Now because any employee is only a company ma does one time work is also but he is producing only five units. Right? Now any because any employee so to just two one time matter work is also that he is producing ten units for you. Any the ten units. अब टेन यूनिट्स को पेमेंट उसे पाँच है सैकेंड इम्प्लॉई ने जिससे जस टू आवर्स मम कर कंपनी में तर जो टेन आवर्स काम कर जिस थोड़े यूनिट्स बना उसके कम पेमेंट पाँच हाई सो टाइम से रिविडेन्ट हो वेदर यू वर्क टेन टू सिक्स इन एन अर्गनाइजेशन और वेदर यू वर्क ओनली फर टू थ्री आवर्स योर पेमेंट विल डिपेन्ड अपन द लेवल अफ आउटपुट यू प्रड्यूस है कति आउटपुट तुम्हें बनाए कति रिजल्ट निल्य रिजल्ट को बेस में यू विल बी पेड है अब दिनभरी काम गए तर एट यूनिट्स प्रडक् प्रडक्शन में उसको हेल्प भैन एट यूनिट्स बनाने सकें उसे ही विल रिशिव नील पेमेंट है अभी इवन दो ही हेज वर्क फर टेन आवर्स और ट्वेल्व आवर्स इन साइड द फैक्ट्री अभी अर्क इम्प्लई से जस जिस वन आवर मत काम कर तर टेन मिनट्स बनाई रहने उसे टेन मिनट्स बराबर को पेमेंट पाँच है सो टाइम फैक्टर इज इलेवलेंट इसमें रिजल्ट बेस में पेमेंट कर आउटपुट बेस में पेमेंट कर टोटल वेजेस इज क्याकुलेटेड बाई टोटल यूनिट्स अफ आउटपुट प्रोड्यूस मल्टिप्लाइड बाई वेजेस रेट पर यूनिट अफ आउटपुट The advantages of piece wage system came to the banda hari. This system pays wages according to the output produced by the workers. It encourages efficient workers, right? Na, and ye lechi ke unse ta, ye le output according to output jai ke gorse payment dinhe gorse, right? Na piece wage system le, ani ke gorse ta encourages efficient workers. Jo workers hoice efficient sa, na na jo jo worker hoice jai dehi banda dehi vidh sa, jo produce karna sakhse, tis to workers sa, lechi ke gorse ta encourages gorse, ekta motivate gorse. Ani piece wage system helps to reduce the idle time, right? Na employees hoice lechi karna jati sakto dehi idle time le pani idle break time le pani na liye, right? Na they try to produce more and more. यूनिट्स है क्योंकि उन्नीर को पेमेंट नहीं कि डिपेन्डेंट हो तो डिपेन्ड्स अपन द लेवल अफ आउटपुट जी धे काम गए तीत धे आउटपुट आती जी धे आउटपुट भो तीत नहीं धेरे के उसको पेमेंट होता हाई 
सो दिस सिस्टम रिड्यूसेस पर यूनिट कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन ड्यू टू इंक्रीज वॉल्यूम ऑफ प्रोडक्शन इसमें चाहे इम्प्लाइज आर इम्प्लाइज इन वर्कर्स आज कि मैं बड़ी फोकस हो जाए आउटपुट में बड़ी फोकस धेरी बंदा धेरी आउटपुट निकालना खोज सकें है ना सर्ट टाइम में धेरी बंदा धेरी आउटपुट आए पर नहीं क्यों जो था हम लोग पर यूनिट कॉस्ट से क्यों जाए रिड्यूस होने जाए ना पिस्टर सिस्टम रिक्वेस्ट लेस सुपरविजन कॉस्ट है जति धेरै काम गरे त्यति धेरै आउटपुट निकाल्यो त्यति नै धेरै पेमेन्ट भइरहेको हुन्छ भनेपछि कसरी आइडल टाइम पनि लिदैन ब्रेक पनि कम लिन्छ भनेपछि कोही मान्छे सुपर सुपरविजन गर्नको लागि सुपरिटेन्डेन्टहरु राख्नु पर्ने इन्स्पेक्सन गर्नु पर्ने कन्ट्रोल गरि राख्नु पर्ने हुँदैन बिकज इम्प्लोइजहरु आफै नै मोटिभेटेड भएर द मोर आइ द मोर आइ प्रोड्युस द युनिट्स द मोर आइल रिसिभ द पेमेन्ट भन्ने थाहा छ उनीहरुलाई सो दे डोन्ट नीड हाई सुपरविजन मोनिटर चाहिए सो पीस रेट रिक्वायर्स लेस सुपरविजन का सो यह के होता है दिज आर द एडवांटेजेस अफ पीस रेट सिस्टम अभी अर्क डिएडवांटेजेस अफ पीस रेट सिस्टम से इट डजेंट हेल्प इन प्रड्यूसिंग क्वालिटी आउटपुट एज अ वर्कर्स फोकस मोर ऑन क्वांटिटी एंड स्टेट अफ क्वालिटी है अब के होता भादा खेल एकदम हाई स्पीड में धे आउटपुट करना ऐसी क्वालिटी अटोमेटिकली डिग्रेड हो सो क्वालिटी आउटपुट से होते हैं and it is very difficult to fix an acceptable and reasonable piece rate for each item of output as of a piece rate bhane ko ab har ek production unit of production garda khiri labor lai chai tyo e product gare bapat kati rupya dinne kati chai payment rakhne kati rate rakhne bhanne kura chai that is very uh, absolute terms ma hunna that's very relative haina and that's very biased and judgmental pani huna jancha पर यूनिट बराबर कति पे करने तो लेबर लाइन दैट इज वेरी ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन एज वेल अस सीस्टम एडवर्स एफेक्ट्स द वर्कर्स हेल्थ एज वेल कसरी वर्कर को हेल्थ हेम्पर कर सो भादा खेल इसमें लो अकोनोअर इकोनोमिक बैकग्राउंड आने इम्प्लइज हाईली मेनिपुलेटेड होने चांसेस होने क्योंकि उन् दे आर इन नीड अफ मनी है अभी उ जी धे काम आउटपुट निल्स तेरी नहीं यूल रिशिव पेमेंट भाई उन् दिन रात है आपको हेल्थ को ख्याल नगरिकन ब्रेक नलिकन एक रेस्ट भी नगरिकन दे ट्राई टू हो गेट मोर एंड मोर आउटपुट्स है तेज के इम्प्लइज को इमोशनल फिजिकल मेन्टल सब हेल्थ के डिटोरिट हो दे जस्ट ट्राई बिकम लाइक मशीन जस्तु होने जस्ट धे भाई धीरे आउटपुट निकालना खोजने आइडियल टाइम भी नलिने ब्रेक भी नलिने अभी एक रो भर तो काम 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 मात्र मशीन जस्तु होने मानी अभी हाई लेवल इम्प्लइज हाई इकोनोमिक बैकग्राउंड आने इम्प्लइज ल ठीक है मनी इज नट एवरीथिंग हेल्थ लाइरिटी राख ब्रेक लेकर करने हो तर पुअर अभी लो इकोनोमिक बैकग्राउंड आने इम्प्लइज को बर्ड एट कसो चैलेंज जस्त हो धेरी पैसा भी अर्न कर अभी दे गेट एक्सप्लोइेड इन द नेम अफ मनी के धेरी भाई धेरी टाइम स्पेन्ड कर धेरी भाई धेरी आउटपुट निले ट्राई टू अर्न मोर मनी है टू फुलफिल देर नेट्स सो इसलिए के वर्कर्स को हेल्थ लैंपर कर बिकज इट ब्रिंग्स अनहेल्दी कंपिटिशन है अनहेल्दी वाला इन्वाइरोमेंट आने लीर आने वाले भर दिज आर दिसवान डिसएडवांटेजेस अफ पीस वेज सीस्टम अस्ट्रेसन टाइम वेज सीस्टम डिसएडवांटेज एंड अदर क्वेश्चन्स ये सब आज सकने प्लान से थी बट आई हेव टू लिव अर्ली टुडे ये भोलि क्लास हम फ्राइडे अोलि हम सब क्वेश्चन कर सौ एंड टुमोरो आई विल अल्सो बी शेयरिंग द असाइनमेंट विथ यू अल असाइनमेंट नेक्स्ट विक सब्मिट कर टू थ्री आवर्स मजा टाइम दिए असाइनमेंट कर सकता आई होप यू विल अल बी डुइंग विदउट कपिंग है सब आप बुझे करने दैट आई होप अई थैंक यू सो मच हई हेव टू लिव अर्ली टुडे ड्यू टू सम इमर्जेन्सी कंडीशन थैंक यू सो मच एवरी वन हेव ए नाइस डे आई सी यू अल टू मोरो थैंक यू क्लास